Hello and welcome to the online video tutorials by H2K Infosys. In today's video session, we are going to talk about a very, very important topic, something that's basic and absolutely fundamental, manual testing. Let's go ahead and see what manual testing is. Manual testing is also called eyeball testing. The reason why it's called eyeball testing is because we basically look at something physically and say whether it's working or not according to the requirements. That's why it's called eyeball testing. Executing test cases without the use of any automation tool is called manual testing. In manual testing, you're not going to use any kind of tool. You are physically going to check whether the application is working the way it is supposed to work. Let's take an example. Uh, let's say we are trying to log into gmail.com. So what we basically do is go give our email address and our password. Well, the requirement says that if the password is not correct, then the application should throw an error message saying that the username or password is incorrect. So if that works, that means the application is working according to the requirements. Say for instance, you give your email address and give some random password and it takes you into your account. Isn't that a risky thing? So what it's supposed to do is if some person enters a wrong password, it's supposed to say that the password is wrong or the username is wrong. So that is what we are going to test. Put in your email address and then type a wrong password. And when you hit the sign in button, the application should say that the password is incorrect. So this is what is called manual testing. You are physically checking whether the application is working the way it is supposed to work. Let's look at the other point. Manual testing is the most primitive of all testing types and helps find bugs in the software system. So this is absolutely the basic way to find out whether there is a bug or not. Before even you start using any automation tools, what you do is manually test it to see whether it's working. Any new application must be manually tested before it can be automated. Automation is always a subsequent process. The very first step is always to do manual testing and see whether uh, there are any bugs or not. Once it's manually tested, then you can automate it for you know, subsequent tests. But the very first thing is for us to manually test the application. Okay, now we have seen what manual testing is and you are aspiring to be a QA analyst or a manual tester. What are the skills that you require to be a manual tester? There are several skills. There are technical skills and there are soft skills that one requires to be a successful QA analyst or a manual tester. Attention to details. This is absolutely important because you are looking at the application that somebody is going to be using. So you basically need to have a very good attention to detail to see whether uh, you know the application is right or wrong, whether this application is ready for uh, production. Uh, some of the technical skills that you may need is Unix skills, SQL skills. Some uh, you know, uh, employers may require that you should have a good understanding of Unix operating system or a Linux operating system. Um, so those are few technical skills that a lot of employers primarily look for. You will also need to know, you will also need to understand the application architecture how the application is actually built together. That is something that you need to understand. You will also need to understand the project requirements and project life cycle. As a project, when is your project starting? What stage your project is in? Are you gathering the requirements? Are you in the development stage? So various stages of the project you definitely need to understand as a QA analyst. Writing test plan and test cases. So suppose they give you the project. You should know how to write a test plan. How are you planning to test this whole application? When are you planning to start the testing? Are you planning to start testing as soon as development begins? Or are you planning on starting the testing once the development is completely finished? You know, each project, it differs. You may be testing on the side as the development happens, or you may test once the development is completely over. So you basically need to plan on the testing, uh, the fa the testing phase. You need to know how to write test cases. That is absolutely important. Once you have a, a requirement, how are you planning to test it? What is the test case? What is the test scenario? 
that, uh, that needs to be tested is definitely something a QA tester will need to know. Communicating with the stakeholders. So everybody will be uh, asking you, you know, what is the status today? How many test cases have you tested? Uh, how many bugs did you find? You know, it could be a project manager or it could be a QA manager or a QA test lead or, uh, you know, somebody from the development side may be asking you uh, how testing is going. So uh, communication skill is absolutely key because you are interacting with a whole bunch of people that are involved in the project. So uh, that is a primary skill that you will need. Understanding the root cause of an issue. Suppose you find a bug. You will, you will need to see where this bug is actually coming from. Is this a, a problem with the code or is it because you are using a different environment than uh, the developer? Uh, you will need to understand the root cause of a problem before you go and say, okay, this is a bug. You will actually need to verify whether this bug is really a bug or not. Working under strict deadlines and thinking out of the box to break logic. You will always have strict deadlines as a quality assurance analyst. You are the last in the pipeline. So the developer has finished his job. Everybody is done with their job. The project manager is done. The plan, he has done the planning of the project. When the project comes to you, you are the last one. And they will be constantly pushing you. You will be working under very, very strict deadlines. So uh, you will need to work under tremendous stress in, the, in such situations. And thinking out of the box to break logic. Suppose there is an application. How, can, how do I look at it differently? To see whether there are bugs or not rather than looking at it from a stereotype standpoint you will need to see whether you can think of different scenarios to test an application so these are primary skills that a QA analyst should have or develop over a period of time to be successful for a free demo class visit us at h2kinfosys.com you can also register with us to get uh, weekly newsletters and free videos thank you